For any serious farmer, it's good to know the kind of animal that you keep. In this video, we'll be looking at different kind of rabbit breeds that we have. Hello, I'm Emmanuel and welcome to our channel. Please find your time to subscribe and hit the notification button. Welcome once again. We are located in Siokimau areas. You can find us there for more training about rabbit farming. We are open for you to learn more about rabbit farming. So today we will be looking at different kind of breeds of rabbit. We have so many kind of breeds of rabbit. But I, I think for general farm and the Kenya in general, we have specific breeds which are used. The first kind of breed that we'll start with is New Zealand White. New Zealand White is the common breed that we have in Kenya and the whole world. Reason being it's one of the best. First it has a high meat to bone ratio compared to uh, other breeds. The average kitten for New Zealand White is 50 and the average weight is uh, 3.5 to 4.5 kg. It's widely used for meat production. The characteristic of New Zealand White is it's white in color and the red or pinkish eyes. The second type of, of breed is California White. California White is white in color but unlike New Zealand White, its, it's ears, nose and uh, legs are black. The average uh, kitten per, per year is uh, 48 kits and um, the weight is around 3.6 to 4.5 kg. That's the average weight. California White is also one of the best breeds that you can keep for meat. The third one is Chinchilla. Chinchilla is a grey in colour and uh, the average kitten per year is uh, 30, 38, around 38. The average weight is around 3.0 to around 3.6. So Chinchilla is, uh, is also good for meat production. Flemis giant, its origin is from UK. Average kitten is around 40, but uh, the average weight is around 5.0 to 5.4. So Flemis giant, it's good for meat production, but when you're doing it commercially in a large scale, um, it's not good compared to New Zealand. Reason being, New Zealand has highest number of average kitten. So, for each production, uh, Flemish giant will give you very little kitten compared to New Zealand. That's why people do prefer New Zealand because it has much production rate compared to other kind of breeds. And then the, third, the fifth one is Dutch. Dutch originated from Netherlands, that is Dutch. Uh, then color is um, black and white. Also Dutch you can find grey and white so they come in different kind of, of colors also. It's way, it weighs about uh, 2.5 to 3.5 kg but it's also good for meat production. And then the sixth is Palmino. Palmino is uh, all brown as you can see in the picture it's all brown. And then in, we have silver mutton. Silver mutton is also good for meat production. It's um, black, but at the best, it's, uh, it's silvery. We have also Havana. Havana is black in color. It's all black in color. It's one of the best breeds that you can, you can keep for meat production. We have Angora. Angora is uh, it's, it's hairy. It's hairy in that um, it's used mostly for wool production. Another type of breed is Kenya White. Kenya White is all white in color, but the difference between Kenya White and New Zealand is the eyes. The Kenya White is the black eyes compared to New Zealand, which is red, reddish, pinkish eyes. Kenya White is also good for meat production. So what is the criteria for selecting a breed that you want to do in farming? For us in general, we have a different kind of breed. Reason being, some people come just to, to buy rabbit as a pet. Uh, so they, they need different colors depending on their need. Some do it for 
for me. When you're doing it for meat, mostly you'll, you'll require breeds like New Zealand, like California, like uh, Chinchilla, which uh, matures very fast. When you're buying a breed for, for production, it's good to know if it's a hybrid drug, it's a, a hybrid breed or a, an indigenous breed. Indigenous breed they take very long time to attain maturity, unlike a hybrid breed. So it's recommended that uh, you need to find breeds which will mature very fast and, and they are able to convert feeds to, to meat very easily. So I'll encourage you to continue subscribing. Please, please continue subscribing to our channel. We have so much that we'll be learning in this channel. So, and also hit the notification button for you to be notified of our upcoming videos. Thank you for your time and God bless.